Why, hi there, it's Uncle Ron. How are you? And today, I'm going to tell you why I play Stratomatic PC Football. Yep, another Strat video by me that's actually not going to show you any game action. I held off a long time in buying Strat Football. Football is not really a sport I play a lot of. In fact, most of my football projects I've streamed on the channel and went... <clears throat> just because I get bored. It takes a long time to play and, and all that. And so it was the one game from Stratomatic that I really had no intention of buying. I mean, the baseball one, it really is kind of, you know, up there on my on my favorites list. The basketball game, I've done a video about it. I absolutely fell in love with it. And the hockey game is the one I've been playing for the better part of 35 years. So... But football, you know, I have a lot of football games. Second and 10, Action PC, Pro Strategy Football. Why would I need another football gig? Well, I bought it. I think about a year and a half ago, as a matter of fact, and liked it. And thanks to last year's NFL playoffs, I made sure I got the update set because that Buffalo, Kansas City, AFC Divisional playoff game last year was absolutely worth the price of admission. And then I bought some more seasons. I think I have like seven or eight now for, for Stratomatic. And so I said to myself not too long ago, I wonder if you can manually roll in there. And you can manually roll in, in the football. If you're listening about basketball and hockey. But in the football game, you can r roll your own. And so I set it up so I could. And loved it even more. And, and again, I'm not gonna. This is not gonna bash any other game. If you like your game, football game, great. There's a lot of good football games out there. But what particularly drives me to Stratomatic is the older I get, and the more I do this, and of course with the podcast and doing the streams and all that, I like the experience of the open engine and kind of discovering the results as I go. I want to see what my decisions do and what they don't do. And more importantly, for me anyway, I want to see how the game plays out in my head. Because that's the thing that needs to be tickled and satisfied is your brain, uh, among anything else. And even with awards that Strat Football has, it does all that. I get to watch the play develop in my head. I, I don't mod my Stratomatic games with, uh, because, with the exception of the old-time pictures pack in baseball, because... Again, this is more about a mind game for me. And putting the puzzle together uh, has taught me how to play the super advanced game. Um, I think it does a good job. You know where the people, if you know, learn how to read the card, you know where the strengths are, you know where the weaknesses are, you know when to grit your teeth. And, of course, with any football game, even if you make the right call, either on offense or defense, just because you've made the right call doesn't mean that it's executed properly enough. And Stratomatic certainly has a lot of that. As a lot of you know, I am not a defensive guru in any way, shape, or form. I really don't know what to call. And both 2nd and 10 and Action PC and Pro Strategy Football, there should be only one in there, not two, allow you to be as complex or as simple as you want with the defensive calls. And if you've watched my channel for any period of time, you know that when I do play football, I just call offense because it makes it a lot easier. I'm playing against myself and I'm playing against the AI defense. Stratomatic simplifies it enough that it, the AI gives you a good suggestion. And when you play retro seasons, there are people in the community who have done the computer or super hell, if you will, uh, managers for there. You're playing against a plausibly, plausibly realistic defense, or it's going to give you a a play that makes sense. Now, I think the weak, the biggest weakness in Stratomatic Solitaire is is the defense. It's the way that you call the defense because you either can do two things: you can either call for a run or a pass. At least that's the case in basic. And so if you're obviously going to throw on third and 10, if the defense is going to call for the pass and you're going to have to pass the ball and so on and so forth. And so there, of course, have been many, many charts and rule changes and all that to make the game play better solitaire. Because at its heart, 
I think, of all four of the Stratomatic games. Football screams to be played head-to-head. -head. I think it's the best head-to-head -head experience. Baseball, basketball, and hockey work both ways, obviously. But you're not going to lose anything if you are playing solitaire with those. Football, I think, really kind of demands to be face-to-face -face or head-to-head -head or whatever. But with the systems that are in place within the PC game, you do feel like you're playing against a good opponent. And it does feel like you have a halfway decent assistant coach that can either call the play for you on offense or defense in the, in the easy mode. And there's also a complicated, uh, an advanced mode that lets you set all that yourself. I play easy mode for both offense and defense. If I want to override, I can override. I don't always override right, you understand. But it's not always wrong. And... I haven't figured out the play tendencies for, for everybody yet. So, again, I feel like when I'm playing, that is a, it is a competent opponent. The game has enough basic animation to make it feel like you're watching an old electric football game. As with any other strat game, buy the card and dice image. It just makes it that much better. You can see where the result comes from. And great cards are absolutely fantastic, and bad cards just make you want to grit your teeth and hold your breath. That That's pretty much the nuts and bolts of that. Uh, but again, what I look for in a game is whatever era I'm playing, does it make it feel like you're playing two teams from that particular season? And the answer to that would be in Stratomatic Football is yes. It feels like I'm playing those players. And because... Again, it's the image, you know, battle in my head, as opposed to the rudimentary animation playing out in front of me. No one plays on AstroTurf. If I want everyone on a money field, I can play them on a money field, and, and, it, and it lets me do that. And being able to roll my own dice and input the results into the game uh, just makes me feel like I'm that much more of a part of it. I've learned how to play the game. I know that the next role could be. You know, devastating on a pass or play or a run play. Um, I feel like you know, the, the, the advantage of Stratomatic Hockey is it feels like you're a player in the game, which I haven't gotten that sense from any of the other hockey games that I've played. As far as... As far as um, the football game is concerned, it feels like that I am coaching the game. Now, there's lots of good games that give coaching experiences, but I really do feel the one thing that, that kind of sets out Stratomatic is that it's the offenses and defenses are easy enough for me to understand to try to make the right call that the game does enough subbing in there so I don't have to worry about who's fresh and who's not, although I don't play with any fatigue on for that. And I can see in my mind's eye how a play develops and either works or doesn't work. And for me, that's important. Again, other games do a good job in expressing that in in, in graphic terms or that, but being able to re read the result off the card, see where the play is going, think about what I want to do for the next play is important to me. And it feels like the way that, that I would observe and coach a football game from the box. It tells me the formations. I can change that all around. I can be as active with it as I want to be. And again, if the computer says, you know, I generally have a decent idea of what I want to call on a given basis uh, before the next play is there, but the computer may give me a better idea of what it is I want to call. My jump in the turret. Very good. I'm trying to talk to my mother at the same time I'm recording this video. So, um... Uh, so yeah, so Stratomatic gives me the ability to do that and play it in in a time and a pace that I'm comfortable with and use my head because I think Strat, what Strat really does quite well, for me anyway, is it makes football look like chess. You have to understand not only things a couple moves ahead, but knowing the strengths of the defense and, and strengthen that and knowing that you don't know once the play starts, or until the play starts, what card you're going to read that off of. And if there's going to be a penalty, or if there's going to be a pass rush, there's a lot of variables 
in Strat Football that make it more than just a 50-50 card game. And I know that's built into other games. But again, I want to be able, if, if I'm a football expert, and I'm either standing on the sideline sending in the play or in the press box trying to watch it, I can see what the other team is doing and, and try to develop a game plan around that. Now, as a more casual fan or an older football fan who really hasn't watched a heck of a lot the last 15 years, I, I really don't have an intricate knowledge of football as I once did when I was 9, 10, 11 years old. And, and sports was my entire life. You know, now there's other things. I think the ease of being able to do it on the PC for Stratomatic kind of gives me back that control where, again, I know the strengths, I know the weaknesses, I know my opponent's strengths and weaknesses, and it allows me just to be able to play one team, which is not usually the case when I do the other Stratomatic sports on the PC where I coach both teams because... I don't really want to know what I'm, you know, if I, if I know what I'm calling, then I can just kind of go against it. So I, I think also, and they also had the multiplayer lobby, but I don't really do multiplayer. So, I mean, the awards with Stratomatic are, yep, it's cards and dice. And not always, people don't always like that. The interface is bulky. And if you're doing a league setup, it's not real intuitive at all. It is really meant to be a multiplayer game. And if you upgrade a season or they come out with a new season that you want, you got to buy the current version and you really do need to do the cards and dice image for the $67 and a retro season puts it up to $95 for that. But um, it'll be something that, again, you don't need to buy it every year which is on the flip side for it. And once you own the season, you own the season forever. Even though they are kind of expensive, they're worth it. It's a well-designed game. Um, does it capture the era of football I want to play? Yes. I played some 60s games with it. Works great. Works great for the 80s seasons as well. And I streamed that Buffalo-Kansas City game from last year and had an absolute blast. It came right down to it. And again, you can control what you want with the game or as little as you want with the game. I know that's an option for a lot of other games. And again, there are better values out there than Stratomatic football. But as far as what I enjoy in a gaming experience, I've really grown to love the game an awful lot. And so if you haven't tried it for the PC, give it a go. See what you think. Because... The AI is going to give you a good test. Um, the results, if you buy the card and dice image uh, option, which gets more and more expensive all the time again, you just get what you get, and you see where they're coming from, and I think it gives you, the football coach, the same bird's eye view as if it was if you were on the sidelines or, or in the box. It makes you a better coach. And if you just like the whole bunch of... Uh, Nostalgia that comes with it, <laughs> always good to see a short gain on a seven roll. All right, thank you very much for watching. I'm Ron Jackett. We'll talk to you the next time.